Hi, I'm Franco Carubia, Chef de Cuisine of Cell de la Terre in Back Bay, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bouillon base. First of all, we're going to start with our raw ingredients. One diced carrot, diced celery, diced onion, half a lemon that's been sliced, and we're going to put in our fish bones. You can use any bones for this. I have salmon bones right now. You can use halibut, cod, whatever you like. Bones go in. The bouquet garni, cheesecloth with thyme, rosemary, parsley, black peppercorns and bay leaf. That goes right in. And we're gonna to top it off with cold water. Great, now we're just gonna let that simmer for 35 to 45 minutes. Should be perfect from there. First off, we're gonna start with adding olive oil to the pan. Nice and hot. Then we're gonna add our ingredients. We have our minced garlic, carrots, celery, diced onions, and diced fennel. We're gonna start adding those slowly. And when you hear the sizzle, that's exactly what you're looking for. Just gonna let that simmer and saute for about five minutes. Gonna season it off slightly to get the flavors really going. Salt and pepper. So we're just gonna let all those flavors marry together. Shouldn't be too long. So now that our vegetables are nicely sauteed off, we're gonna add our tomatoes and white wine and reduce that by half. So tomatoes go in. and the white wine goes in and we're going to reduce by half. Going to bring the heat up slowly. As you can see, this is uh, reduced by about half and it took about five to seven minutes. Now we're going to add our saffron. Get all that in there. Our bouquet garni. And in here is a uh, little fresh thyme, rosemary, flat leaf parsley, bay leaf and black peppercorns and our fish fumet. We're gonna let this simmer gently for about 20 minutes. So we're gonna, now gonna remove the bouquet garni and uh, give it a blend to get it a really smooth like consistency. Okay. So the bouquet garni's out. So as you can see, it's nice and smooth. Now we're gonna assemble our plates. So now we're gonna take one portion of the bouillon base. Obviously this makes six to four to six portions. We're gonna just show you tonight how to do one. So I'm just gonna ladle out some of the broth for one. That's good. Move that to the side. We're just gonna reduce this down slowly so it gets a nice thick con consistency. Meanwhile, we're going to um, sear off our halibut, which we're going to season it. At this point, you can use any fish, uh, red mullet, grey mullet, halibut, cod, whatever you fancy, no problem at all. Uh, I'm going to pan sear mine so I can get a really nice crust on top, but you can always poach yours in the bouillon base to get a really nice fishy flavour and shellfish flavour running through the, through the fish. Depending on the thickness of the fish, I'd say if you're poaching it about five, to 10 minutes depending on the thickness. So we're just gonna sear the halibut. We're looking for a nice golden crust on top of the fish. So as you can see, the fish has a really nice golden color to it. So that's ready to go. I'm gonna take that off and let that rest on a little kitchen paper to drain the fat from. So we have our bouillon base has been simmering and gently reducing. We're gonna add our shellfish. Today I'm using tiger shrimp and Prince Edward Island mussels. Uh, you can use any shellfish you like, um, no problem at all. You can use little neck clams, squid, whatever you fancy. So I'm gonna put those in. That should take about 
two minutes to cook. For a little crunch and texture, I have a little diced carrot and diced celery. I'm gonna add that in as well. So. We're gonna put the lid on and let it steam for about two minutes. So our bouillon base has been cooking along with our shellfish for about two minutes. I'm gonna add a small knob of butter and that will just richen up the bouillon base and give it a really nice gloss. Just gonna let that melt in there gently. Take seconds because this is really, really hot. Okay, I'm gonna give a little taste. Check for seasoning. It's good, a little bit more salt. Always be careful on the salt because your shellfish is salty from the sea, obviously. So we don't want to over season because our shellfish contains a lot of salt water. So this has just come off the heat, we're gonna add a splash of perno. And that will give it that really anisey, fennelly flavor to the bully base, which just works perfectly. And now we can plate. We're gonna add our halibut. And I have some beautifully toasted baguette, which works really well with this for your bully base broth. We could just slot those on the side there, just like that. Now we can add our saffron rui. Just a nice drizzle over the top. Really nice and rich. Classic French bully base right here, guys, okay? Okay. And I have some really wonderful fresh microgreens. This one here in particular, I have is chervil. So just right over the top. There we go. Here's the finished plates.